And I woke up pretty late today, but I got really refreshed. I've just been working like a madman, my dudes. I'm excited to be a sloth this weekend. I'm excited to just hang out with some friends and family, kick back, relax, and chill. And that right there is a wonderful... We just caught the... Omni, the Whirlpool Pokemon, was an ancient pocket monster that lived in the sea long, long ago and swam curvedly by oot. By foot. <laughs> okay, I didn't see the fucking F. Why was the F so far to the right? Are you guys seeing that? Curvedly by foot. Yes. Do you even have feet? A nomi. Amni. Ow me! I don't think so. What up, pimps, and welcome back to Pokemon Green. It's your boy Vinny, aka Hatless Vinny, and I'm gonna bring you guys the greatest episode of my career today. It is Friday, March 1st. It's crazy that we're already in March, but I hope you guys are ready for the greatest Pokemon Green episode ever. So we're gonna begin with a very quick team recap to get everybody up to speed on what the squad is looking like. If you like this shirt, you know where to go to pick it up. Shop.original151.com. Your boy is always plugging. Here is Medi the Electrode at level 14, the electric type with the moves Go All Out, Noise Explosion, and Angle Driller. Next up, we got Miss, aka Miss Sexual Innuendo, the Vaporeon at level 20, the aquatic type with the moves Squirt, Sprinkle, Sharpness, and Go All Out. Coming up next, coming in hot, we got Steve the Aerodactyl, Rock and Flying type, level 17 with the moves Cut with Wing and Rotate. Next up, I've been calling this Pokemon Gus, aka everybody's favorite bartender for like six episodes now. His name is GVS. I named him after a member. I named him after a member. I gotta make sure I enunciate my words here. GVS, that's not a U, that's a V. So, I apologize for calling this thing Gus. It's not Gus. We're gonna have to catch a new Pokemon and name it Gus. Anyway, this thing's got the moves. Peck, chirps, flowers, blooms, and sharpness. I'm just trying to make sure that's actually a V because people were leaving comments, but I feel like that could also be a U. You know what I mean? No, it's a V. The Steve, the V and the Steve and the V and the GVS look exactly the same. You guys are right. You guys are smarter than me, apparently. That's not saying much. Mike is over here, level 33, the Mew. Superman typing with the moves Beat, Change, Body, Heavy Boxing, and Whistle. And then finally, we got Tim. No, Tim, I don't want to use Sword Skill. I want to not get tangled up in my headphones. And I want to introduce you at level 18, the Sayayather at... Level 18, I think I said that twice. Now, sharpness gaze, sword skill. That was a weird team recap, but you know what? It happened. In today's episode, my boys, we will be going through the rock tunnel. Hopefully, we can make it out of here in a jiffy. And then we will be doing the Pokemon Tower, battling the rival, traveling to Celadon. God damn it, these headphones, guys. I've been having not necessarily technical difficulties, but just hardware annoyances today. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I didn't think I had my boom arm set up properly with my mic. I used the Shure SM7B, by the way. I highly recommend it. And let me rant for a second, then we'll get back into the gameplay, I promise. So I was like, yo, I gotta see if I can, you know, tighten this thing or make it better. Turns out I unscrewed some stuff. I screwed some stuff back on. I made it worse. It feels even more flimsy on this boom arm. I might need to just straight up order a new boom arm. Then I started to loosen these little knobs on the mic just out of curiosity. And they say, curiosity killed the cat. They were not wrong. I ended up dropping one of the knobs on the floor. You guys can't see it in the camera, but a little scratch is on the knob now. And I've had this mic for literally only a month, and it's bothering me. So I went on Google today, and I literally searched replacement knobs for the Shure SM7B. I found new knobs, so I ordered them. So literally today, trying to make things better, I ended up losing $20 ordering brand new knobs. You might be thinking, Vinny, it's a little scratch. You, like you said, no one can see it. I know they're there, the little nicks. And it's driving me crazy. All right, it's driving me a little bit berserk, but it's okay, guys. I took care of everything. And you guys might be sitting there listening to this going, damn, Vinny is more neurotic than ever. You're right. <laughs> I'm crazy, man. I'm a crazy man. Oh, my God. But anyway, yeah, I feel better after I ordered them. So they're going to be in here. Uh, they're going to be here in like five to six business days. And then I can replace this knob with the knob that's not scratched. As far as the boom arm, like I said, I think I just got to order a new one. I don't know why this thing is not tight. Like, if I move the mic up and down like this, just ever so slightly, it loosens the little washer here. Okay, I'm no mechanic, but I think this thing is called a washer, that little circular ring right over here. That gets loosened, and then I'm all over the place, and the mic could potentially fall out. You guys know in one of the Soul Link recordings, if you watch Soul Link, we ended up not posting that footage because of, you know, technical difficulties, but my mic literally ripped off the boom arm, and this shit swung up. Thank God it didn't hit me or the computer. Am I complaining a lot today? Probably. Let me talk about some positive things. 
It is Friday, okay? I am feeling good. I hope you guys are feeling good. Let's talk about some good weekend plans. Sunday, we're celebrating my brother's birthday. You guys know my brother's birthday was on Wednesday, I believe. But we will be celebrating on Sunday. The family's coming over. We're going to meet with some cousins that we haven't seen in a little bit. We're going to have some cake. I'm excited. I won't be eating the cake because you guys know I'm doing the healthy lifestyle kick right now. Can we get a Friday flex? Yes, we can. After this episode or after these episodes, I might surprise Ryan today and record two of these back to back just to get ahead a little bit. I think that would be a good idea to give Ryan some extra time to edit these episodes. And then plus, I don't got to record this on Monday, which is always going to be a great thing. That way I can focus on some other things like the member Monday streams and cage lock and all stuff like that. Also, I just realized, I think this is our first encounter. I could be wrong. I'm not entirely sure if we already gotten an encounter in here or not. And I just realized we didn't get the encounter before the rock tunnel west, but east of Cerulean. You guys know what I'm talking about. We might have to go back and get that. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to catch this thing and you guys are going to tell me whether or not it is legal. Okay, how are we going to weaken this thing down? Let's go out to Miss, aka Miss Sexual Innuendo. But yeah, it's going to feel good to get a little bit ahead with Pokemon Green today. So if you guys see me wearing the same shirt in this episode and the next episode, then you guys already know. This actually might kill. This is neutral. It's not very, it's not not very effective. Oh wait, no, it is not very effective. <laughs> I'm a silly guy. But yeah, a lot of people have been leaving comments saying, Vinny, you gave us a taste of no hat Vinny. Bring that man back. It's been a while. I think it was like one episode where I wore a hat. But yeah, no hat is back. And I just got out of the shower and I woke up pretty late today, but I got really refreshed. I've just been working like a madman, my dudes. I'm excited to be a sloth this weekend. I'm excited to just hang out with some friends and family, kick back, relax, and chill. And that right there is a wonderful... We just caught the... Omni, the Whirlpool Pokemon, was an ancient pocket monster that lived in the sea long, long ago and swam curvedly by oot. By foot. <laughs> okay, I didn't see the fucking F. Why was the F so far to the right? Are you guys seeing that? Curvedly by foot. Yes. Do you even have feet? A no me. Amni. Omni. I don't think so. I'm a star. Okay. I'm a knight. That's not an I'm a star. It's an I'm a knight. We're going to give this thing a nickname. Oh boy. This is going to be, this is going to be a fun recording session today. Let me come to the previous episode of Pokemon Green. I should have had this pulled up already. I'm sorry, but you know what? I'm a professional YouTuber. This is what we do. Okay. By the way, again, thank you guys so much for your support on this series. The comment section for this series is like the best comment section on YouTube. I literally love it. All right, let's find a member to name this Pokemon after. Jim Leader Luna. We're going to name this mon right here Luna, and that will fully fit. Giggity, that's what she said. Hell yeah, that's what I like to see. But yeah, my dudes, if you want to watch green early, all you got to do is become a member at level 2 or level 3. And it's not only green, it is cage locked. It is Soul Link. It is the three-way versus, which, by the way, you guys should definitely go check out the three-way versus. New episode drops today on Dylan's channel. Here comes a Dejas. But yeah, I wanted to just make sure I clarified it was 100% transparent on the uh, video early thing. So here's how it works. As long as I get the video in my possession, because you guys know I don't edit any of the videos. I have uh, different friends and different editors that work on certain things. Shout out to Ryan. Shout out to Cass. Shout out to Dylan. You guys are all fucking legendary. But what happens is, as long as I get the videos by, like, 11 p.m. That's when I post it early. If I get the videos after that, like let's say I get Cage Lock, the, the Cage Lock episode today, I'm gonna get it at a decent time. But let's say for whatever reason I got it at midnight. I'm not gonna post that early for the level two and three members and make everyone wait past midnight. But if I do get it around 11, I will post it at 11 for the members and then wait till like 11.45 to post it for everybody else. But the good thing is if I get it a lot earlier than that, like for example, today's green episode, I should have this relatively early. I can post this about an hour, maybe an hour and a half early for those level two and level three members. So I only post the videos early when I have them at a decent time. Like I said, if I get it super late, I'm not gonna make everybody wait. Hopefully I clarified that because a lot of people were leaving comments saying, yo, Vinny, we be getting episodes a little late. If you guys get episodes after midnight, everyone's getting them at the same time. I don't post those early for the members. And I hope the members understand that too. It's just, I need to make sure that things go up at decent times. And sometimes I just record way too late for the editors to get it back to me on time. So I'm trying to do better at recording earlier. That way we could get videos up earlier. And that way the members can get the videos earlier and everyone can get the videos at a decent time as well. So hopefully you guys are cool with that. We're gonna go for one more squirt and we're gonna take down this, the Joss. And I really hope that I have an antidote in my bag. I think I do. We should be good to go. But yeah, from turning all those 
fucking knobs earlier. My fingers are literally in pain. Like the tips of my fingers. The tips of me fingers are killing me, mate. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, being a level 2 or level 3 member is fucking awesome because of those perks. So, it's a dope thing. And like I said, guys, moving forward, I will do a lot better at making sure that we get those videos early. And of course, there's going to be circumstances where I can't post them early. But I just want to be 100% transparent uh, with all of you beautiful people. Do I have Detoxicate Cure? That has no effect. Okay, that is not for... That is not for... Poison. Do I not have anything to heal that? That's actually not good. Alright, we might have to dip out and come back and heal at the Pokemon Center. Really? I have nothing to heal that? I'm shocked the Detoxicate Cure didn't work. Alright, so we're gonna walk out of here. Now, I should probably heal right now. We're gonna walk out of here. And let me go for the... Do I even have any wound cures? Yes, I do. Seven of them. That should be enough to get out of here. It's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. Dude, this is like the discombobulated episode of the century right here. 56 steps. Will that get us uh, to the Pokemon Center? Hopefully. That's three, four, wild Pokemon. Bring it on. Geodude in this gen always looks so weird to me. He literally has like a brain sticking out of his head. And if you never saw that, you will never unsee it. Now, I probably should have waited before I ran away to get you guys a better idea of what I was talking about. But you can go back and look at the sprite and you're like, yeah, damn, he looks like his brain... He has like a deformity, like his brain is on the outside of his head. It's kind of wild. Slowbro, aka Yater. Yo, are you Darth Vader's cousin, Yater? How you doing, man? Horrible joke, but you know what? Sometimes you're not always gonna bat a hundred. I don't know baseball terms. <laughs> I tried my best. I tried my best. What is it when you bat really good? Is it a hundred? Is it three hundred? Baseball guys or baseball gals, let me know in the comments down below if I was even remotely on track to making a uh, a worthy connection there. Doesn't matter though, because now we're gonna go for sword skill and we're gonna take down this tree and then we're gonna take down this tree right here. Beautiful. And then we're gonna go inside of the Pokemon Santa so we can see our girl does joy. It shall make us feel better. But yeah, I'm feeling good today, man. Definitely a little overwhelmed. Uh, just to give you guys an update on like everything that's going on in life. A little bit overwhelmed as far as the workload lately because there's four series going on plus two streams a day. But honestly, it's it's a good overwhelming feeling if that makes any sense. I don't know if it necessarily does, but basically I just I feel good when I'm working. I feel good when I keep my mind busy. I've been working like a fiend in the gym, man. You guys know if you follow me on Instagram, me and my brother have been doing two a days. I literally I go to the gym early in the day and I do my cardio and then later on in the day me and Joey go to the gym we do our weight training yesterday we did chest and when I tell you guys I am sore as a motherfucker today I will be doing arms to wrap up the week today it was a weird or this week was a weird like array assortment of what I would do in my workouts I believe Monday I did back Tuesday I did shoulders Wednesday I did legs Thursday I did chest and then today I will be doing arms usually I do arms and chest way earlier in the week but you know what I'm not complaining I'm excited to destroy the pythons today hit the buys hit the tries I know a lot of people like to do back buys I know a lot of people like to do chest tries I personally like to have an arm day where I do the buys and then do the tries I do four bicep exercises and four tricep exercises and then after that I'm feeling fucking good baby feeling real fucking good all right, Mike, get out here. By the way, guys, we still haven't lost a Pokemon in this series. If you're just tuning in, you might be thinking, Vinny, you've not lost a single Pokemon in this series. I, I call bullshit on that. You gotta call it truth, because I haven't lost a single Pokemon. I'm just saying, we're kicking this game's ass. Heavy boxing come through. But yeah, right now it is 12.38 p.m. And you know what? I am definitively going to say yes. I will be recording two of these today. I'm not even going to tell Ryan. I'm going to shock the world and surprise this man. He's going to be like, good shit, Vinny. Because I just want to make sure that we get ahead. I want to make sure that I can provide the early videos for the level 2 and level 3 members. I want to make sure you guys are getting the most high quality content possible. We're stepping up our game with Pokemon Green. I was going to say Green earlier before I said game. And then I said Green, kind of. You know when you try to say two words and the two words kind of morph together? I didn't I didn't mean to like make it seem like I was giving you guys the finger. That's like the second time that's happened in this series. Apparently, my fingers just want to give you guys the finger subconsciously. I don't know why I'm not trying to do it. Can we not with the bind, please? Otter, you stupid scallywag. It's funny that Dragonite's name is Otter. Like, that's funny to me. He's not an otter. He's a gigantic dragon. He's actually not gigantic. I think Dragonite's like 5'11". Am I right by saying that? That's my hypothesis. I think Dragonite is indeed 5'11". But literally, we just went through here in the three-way verses. And if you have not seen the three-way verses, please go watch it. I'm telling you guys right now, I know you guys have limited time that you can watch your YouTube videos because you guys have so much going on, just like we have so much going on in our lives. But trust me, 
That series is fucking incredible, and you will literally fall in love with it so fast. The chemistry between me, Dobbs, and Dylan, it's literally, it's its insane how good the chemistry is. I'll just say that. It is insane how good the chemistry is. But yeah, I just, I'm so excited right now to be losing weight, guys. I haven't gone on a scale yet. I don't even want to look at the scale. I want to just look in the mirror and see every day. You know, not every day you're going to notice a change, but over the week's time, slowly getting more and more of a tapered jaw. The shirt's getting a little bit looser. The man titties turning into pecs. I'm excited, okay? The, the journey is real. I was talking to you guys on a live stream this week, and I admitted, I said, you know what? I have been slacking when it comes to the healthy eating. The gym, I've still been going ham. That never slacks. Thank God I still have that drive. But as far as the, the eating, I've been binge eating at nighttime. Not this week. This week, I've been going. It's Friday, five days strong so far with healthy eating, and I just feel so much better. I have so, such a better outlook on things, feeling more motivated. And if I can motivate myself, hopefully I can motivate you guys, and we can all just get healthier and happier and just feel better. That's the goal here. That's the end game. We're in the end game now. You guys already know. But yeah, aside from all of the knob issues and the washer issues and all the shit going on, you guys know I love this mic so much. It's an amazing mic. It really is an amazing mic. And I think I sound better than ever. For those of you guys that have been on the channel for a long time, let me know in the comments below. Do you feel like I sound very good? I can't believe we've been recording for 16 minutes already. What we're probably going to do, right... We're probably going to get to a Lavender Town by the end of this episode. Maybe if we have enough time, we could battle the rival. Then we'll wrap it up, and then the next episode, we'll go to Celadon. We might be able to battle Gym Leader Erica. I know this game like the back of my hand, baby. I never understood that phrase, really. Like It's like, do you know the back of your hand that well? And what is the back of your hand? Is this the back of your hand? Because technically, wouldn't this be the front? Because when your arms are down, I mean, I don't know. What's, what's the back of your hand? This would be the back of your hand, right? The palm is not the back. I have a lot of things on my mind today. <laughs> I have a lot of things on my brain today. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I'm feeling a little bit of anxiety from when I was trying to explain the thing with level two and level three members earlier. But just to clarify, I really do feel like I have been doing a good job at getting the videos out early for the level two and level three members. There's only been, I think like one, two, maybe three times where I wasn't able to post something early. I have been doing a good job with it. I'm just, I'm very hard on myself and I wanna make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing for you guys that show me that extra level of support. So, like I just wanted to make this clear, moving forward, I want to be doing an even better job. That way, that it never happens, or close to never happens, that you guys don't get a video early. Because if you are if you have a level 2 or level 3 membership, you guys should be getting the videos early. And like I said, I'm just going to do everything I can to make that happen for you guys. And I promise that's the last that I'm speaking of it. You guys, if you know me well, you know this has definitely bothered me in my, in my brain next to my cerebellum, my center of gravity. But that's the last I will touch of it, I promise. This thing probably has Dragon Rage. Carla, why you gotta be so rude? Okay, I'm gonna hard swap out to Mike. Mike can eat up a bunch of Dragon Rages. I at least like the fact that, as a creator, I'm not afraid to really put myself out there. I'm not afraid to be 100% transparent with you guys. I'm not afraid to take a stand, everybody, come take my hand. One of my favorite Eminem songs, it's off the Recovery album, I believe it dropped in 2010. No, but seriously, I just put myself out there, and whatever I'm thinking, I usually tell you guys, I don't tell you guys every single thing that goes through my brain, but for the most part, if something's been bothering me, if something is getting on my mind, if something's irking me, I will let you guys know. I just, I feel, I just feel from creator to viewer, we're all family here, Transparency is very important, and I wish a lot of other YouTubers would uh, would follow that as well. I just think everyone would be more better off if they were transparent as much as they could be uh, with their viewership. It just makes everything a lot more intimate, a lot more natural, a lot more organic. Can we escape smoothly? Yes, we can, baby. We're actually almost out of here. We gotta battle a couple more trainers through these little paths, but Rock Tunnel really is not hard to get through, especially when you've played Gen 1 like a million times like I have. But let's see right here. Bring it on. I look just like you. I look just like you. You're going to send out a bubba. But yeah, let me know what you guys are doing this weekend. Hopefully tonight I will be going out with some friends and getting drunk. That's what I want to do. I've worked hard this week, man. I've worked really hard, and I just want to have a couple drinks with some friends, kick back, relax, and chill. And then tomorrow I want to sleep in. That is the game plan. Ryan just sent a tweet to our group chat. Shout out to Ryan, my boy, a.k.a. the editor of the series. Like I said, a million times, but I'll say it a million and one. You guys should definitely go subscribe to Ryan's channel, a.k.a. King Corefish. His link is down below in the description for every green episode. And I, I just, I know I sound like a broken record, but I'm just so proud of Ryan because he really has been doing such a great job with the series. I know he's going to be very happy that I'm getting him a video early because literally 
He has the entire weekend now to edit episode, uh, the episode for Monday, which is going to be episode 11. I believe this is episode 10. We're in double-digit territory, and we've really been taking our time with the series, and we've all been enjoying it. I feel like, I feel like Pokemon Green has turned into this, like, cult classic in a sense. You know what I mean? Like, the fans of Pokemon Green are the diehard Kanto kids, and I can't thank you guys enough for watching. I, I just, I, I, I appreciate it so much. Here's another Sheepo. Sipho. Sorry, Sipho. What are you sipping on, ho? Ha, ha, ha. Puns for Pokemon green names. Heavy boxing. Come through. <laughs> but just, I just, I don't know. There's there's something about the comment section for Pokemon green. And maybe it's the reason why I love this series so much. It's just, it's so supportive. I think it's the most supportive comment section that I have right now going across all of the series that have been going on on the channel. And I just, it means a lot to me. It really does mean a lot to me. And it's, it's not me sugarcoating shit. Like, I genuinely feel so happy reading the comments of this series because I know there's just going to be positivity down there and it just I don't know it just it rubs me the right way it rubs me all kinds of right ways just things have been going just so perfect with this knock on wood I don't want anything to be jinxed or I don't want anything to be different but I'm just excited about it man I'm very excited about it and here comes another challenger bring it on but that happens to me sometimes as a content creator, man. I'll be talking about something, and I might not articulate myself the best way. And you guys know I've covered this a million times on the channel if you've been here. But sometimes I don't articulate myself a certain way as good as I would have hoped or as well as I would have hoped. And then in my brain, I'm like, go back and talk about it again. Clarify. Go back and talk about it again. Clarify. While I'm still trying to entertain and keep things moving forward, that's just the way my brain works. It's how my brain will probably always work. Hypnotism, can you not right now? Can you not right now? Here comes Mike. It's just the way I'm programmed. Like if I was a robot, that would be my AI, if you will. That would be my my programming. That would be the way that I do things. Bop, boop, beep, I'm a robot. But you know what? I think it's a blessing and a curse because it makes me get on the same page with you guys and it allows me to just, I don't know, expand on thoughts a lot. It definitely gets annoying at times. I know for me, it gets annoying in my brain. So for a viewer, it probably gets annoying. Like, all right, you made yourself clear. Shut the fuck up already. I'm a worrier. I'm a dweller. I want to know if any of you guys experience the same thing. Hey, it's GVS or Gus, everybody's favorite bartender. Do you guys go through any form of OCD, any form of anxiety? Let's let's talk about it. If you guys are comfortable uh, with talking about it, because we've covered some... Like I said, guys, the comment section for Green has been amazing. We've covered some heavy shit, man. A lot of people have talked about some good things, some bad things, everything in between. We've really... I just feel like we've gotten to know each other better with, with this series, which is awesome. Miss you! I miss you! I've, I just... I haven't seen you in like an episode and a half, and I miss you. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Motif? Motif? I think that's psychic. Luckily, I'm gonna eat it up because I'm a fucking Mew myself, and I'm at level 30 fucking 5. But it's still scary, uh, you know, taking a fucking psychic to the face from a Misu, you know? You know what I'm saying? Heavy boxing, can we not? Alright, you know what we're just gonna beat? I should have changed body, to be honest. But beat, ooh, that hit home speed star, that is swift. Some of the literal translations are actually incredible, like Speed Star being swift. That that's what it is. They're speedy stars. You know what I'm saying? And we defeat Cool Trainer. That battle took way too long. You're not so cool, man. You're not so cool, man. We're gonna travel to the north. You know in Rock Tunnel, every time you battle the new trainer, you're going the right way. Here we go, boys. Here we go, y'all. But I don't know if you guys saw Shofu. Big, big uh, person in the Pokemon community, huge fan base, huge creator, amazing guy too. He's a super cool dude, super talented as well. Go check out Shofu if you never have already. That's basically what I'm trying to say. But he uh, announced that for the Pokemon Rap Cypher this year, they're gonna be holding a public contest for a new person to join. And you guys already know, I'm gonna be entering said public contest. It is going down. I have a feeling they're gonna ask you to write a certain amount of bars and you know send it in. I'm doing it, 100%. We're gonna make it happen and I want you guys I want you guys to hype your boy up. I want you guys to be like, yo, Vinny, in the comments, this is, what you, this is what I want you guys to say. Something along the lines of, you're going to kill these bars, dog. You're a rapping machine. You got this, bro. And I'm going to respond and be like, yo, thanks, guys, for believing in me. I appreciate you. The layout of the healing is so weird in this game, man. Let me explain what I mean in further detail. Let me come over to the goods. Okay. It seems like it doesn't line up. Let me grab my mouse for a second. Now, I know you guys can see my mouse. How you doing? I think I can make it bigger if I twirl it. Yep, there we go. Okay, here's my mouse, right? So, we got Mike over here. Then we got his level. Then it, like, shoots up to the right to show you the health bar. It just looks weird. Sometimes when I'm healing my Pokemon, I'm like, ah, it looks a little weird. You guys, now that you saw what I said, I feel like you're like, oh my god, you're right, Vinny. I don't know why I use that as your voice, guys, but that's, like, my go-to comment section voice. Like, oh, I don't know, man. 
We have no more PP for that. I did not want to. I did not want to change body. I did not want to become the Oncon. Incon? <laughs> the Oncon? Rat and whip. Bitch, please. All right. Um. I guess we can go for rat and whip as well. This poison powder is not going to affect this thing. Bro, we're going to be here all day. It's. Oh, he's got leech seed. I got to switch out and switch back in. Let's go out to Steve. Actually, this was a horrible idea. If he hits me with a razor leaf. Oh, that's not very effective. I'm a flying type. Okay. Fuck it. Cut with wing. Let's go. Why did I think he'd be super effective if he went for a grass type move? I am part rock type, but I'm also part flying. So I guess that's why it was not very effective. Bada bing, bada boom. We take down the Babasa. By the way, shout out to Barbasaur. We have a series coming right after this one. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to skip a beat. I might take like a week off just to like regain, recharge my batteries. But after that... It is me and Barber's new series. It is going down. We've been hyping this up for close to a year now, straight up. It's been madness. But me and Barber will be doing a series, and we hope you guys will watch it and show support for it. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well. And I think me and Barber are going to have some really... Holy fuck. I think me and Barber are going to have some really good chemistry. Why would I stay in? I'm weak to electric. Please, no. That's a Zapdos, but I can eat it, right? I can eat it, right? I can eat it, right? <sighs> Timestamp Ryan! Well, folks, it finally happened. I did something dumb as fuck, and this time there was no saving him. Steve almost died in a previous episode, too. Oh, man, Steve, I am sorry. That was just a, that was a stupid play on my part. That was a very, very stupid play. I always think, for whatever reason, that Aerodactyl's part ground. I always think that, but no, he's rock and flying, therefore electric is super effective. Oh man, that, that stung. I do not want to end the episode on a negative note, but that definitely stung. My dad is texting me, he knows I'm recording. Dad, let me record my video and then I'll text you back. This is very tough times for your boy right now. Oh, man, I did not want to lose that Aerodactyl. Yo, fuck you, Wild Encounters. Can't run away from it. God fucking damn it. All right, let's 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 not lose our fucking cool here, man. Let's not lose our fucking cool. Okay, let's put Mike in the front. Oh, man, this is the first time in Pokemon Green where I'm feeling sorrow and sadness. But it's okay, it's okay. We're going to bounce back. All right, I really have been doing a good job and not... Oh, we have so many trainers to fight here, actually. Jesus Christ. Dad, stop texting me! I'll get back to you after the damn episode. Alright, it's okay. Shake it off. Shake it off. It's okay. Everything is fine. Here comes a pearl. We are gonna go for beat. This is gonna take a very long time to kill. Your defenses are quite well. Quite well, indubitably. And now we're stuck in this shit. Alright, we gotta heal, actually. Let's make sure that we heal. How many wound cures do I have left? Four. That should be enough to get Mike up to full health. As long as he doesn't keep attacking. Hopefully, he'll just raise his defenses. Okay, there we go. Now we can attack. Um, What does Whistle do? Oh, Whistle's metronome, right? Fuck it. Let's go for Whistle. Let's take a little bit of a risk here. And we attacked it, our attacked it ourselves. I gotta end this episode. I straight up gotta end this episode and, like, walk around my basement. Stop! Mike! What the fuck, man? This is my last wound cure. This is so bad. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go out. Oh, man, I don't even know what to do right now. This is so bad. Okay. Stay in. Let's go. Let's just keep going for beat. Stop confusing me. It's gonna take a very long time, but it's okay. We got speed up as long. Thank you. It hit home. Jesus Christ. Those cloisters, man. They are fucking dangerous. Red? Am I gonna challenge red? Am I gonna challenge the character? It's a jinx. All right. Beat should be able to kill you in like maybe three hits. Pound is not a very good move. Wow, it's gonna be a four hit KO. That is a bummer. I gotta get the fuck out of here. I think there's a way that I can avoid all of the trainers coming up. Not all of them, but a good amount of them. Kiss. I'm asleep. Whew! I did not think we were gonna see the day where Grumpy Vinny comes out in Pokemon Green, but he's here, folks. He is here. Wake up, Mike. Please. You sleep for so long in this fucking game. All right, there we go. Fuck you. All right, you Girl Scout. You stupid fucking asshole. All right. Now, when you, that's a trainer, we walk across to the right. Come down. No, I don't want a battle of fucking morph. Venom off, leave. Okay. 
I think maybe one or two more trainers and we're out this bitch. I think one or two more trainers and we're out. But right when we get out, I'm wrapping this up. I'm gonna go get some water and we're gonna feel good about ourselves for the upcoming episode 11. That is what is gonna happen. I just spit all over my keyboard. That's okay. Oh man, what a what a rocky roller coaster of emotions, boys. Here comes. Co um, here's the problem. Here's the problem that we're gonna have right now. If he goes for Dragon Rage, right? I might lose because I only have 45. I only have 45. HP. A wound cure is not enough right now. It's straight up not enough. It won't heal up enough. I just gotta attack and hope he doesn't go for Dragon Rage. If he goes for Dragon Rage, we lose, I think. Gaze, thank God. Thank you, God. Bro, two Dragon Rages would have ended my career right there. Straight up. Yep, because he didn't get killed in two hits. Whew, man. This... This is the last trainer I believe, but holy shit, that was stressful. That was very stressful. The Joss, send it in. What is this thing? Okay, a coughing. Don't poison me. Please don't poison me. Let's go for a whistle. Maybe we'll get like a mega punch, even though we had mega punch. Barehanded cut. It hit home. I will take it. All right. I don't even know what the fuck that was. Karate chop, perhaps? A lub, send it in. Yo, a lub is my dad. Whistle again. I'm really taking risks using this metronome. Quick attack. Better than pound, in my opinion. Nice. I'm taking risks because he might explode, but you know what? That's a risk we're going to have to take. It's two moves that we can't get. Self-destruct and explosion. If we can avoid those moves, we're in good shape. And micro is level 37. I need super wound cures, like, right now. Literally right now. But I think we're out of here, boys. I think we're out of here. How you doing, Squirr? A.K.A. Ponyta. Ponyta. That's what Ponyta sound like. Thank you, God. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Green. This was stressful. It was stressful to say the least. But in the next episode, we're going to feel better. We're going to keep it moving forward. I will be wearing the same shirt that you can pick up at shop.original151.com. Japanese logo. It's fucking clean. We have it in, I believe, three colors. This color, a red, and also a green. We might have it in some other co uh, colors as well, but I don't know for sure. Just go check out the store. Um, and if you're a level three member, you get 25% off all merch, just to throw that out there. But I love you guys so much. Um, if you did watch this video early and you are a member, leave the comments down below saying you watched it early. Get that hype. And like I said, guys, moving forward, I'm just going to do everything I can to do better, to be better, and to keep you guys entertained. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and here comes the outro. As always, love and respect goes out to everybody. Don't forget to comment, to rate, and to subscribe. This is Original 151. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time. God damn it, rest in peace, Aerodactyl!